Windcraft currently has eight different tiers of items. Normal, Unique, Rare, Set, Legendary, Fabled, Mythic, and Crafted. While they may not individually be very powerful, set items feature a unique mechanic where if you wear two or more pieces of the set, you gain extra bonuses on top of what the gear would normally provide. These bonuses are unique to each different set and increase relative to the number of pieces you are wearing. In this series, I will be showcasing and analyzing every armor set in Windcraft. This is Set Spotlight. Hello everybody and welcome to episode 14 of Set Spotlight. In this week's episode, we'll be looking at the Silverfish set. The Silverfish set can be obtained as a drop from scarab enemies in the desert. They all look like regular silverfish, which is fitting. Supposedly they can also drop from the sand crawlers, but I was unable to get any to drop from them when testing for this video. If you wish to farm for this set, it is best to go to the scarab pit found directly north of Almush. Fun fact, my best friend Slythen hates fighting silverfish, so if you also hate them, go ahead and drop a sub, and after the video ends, follow the link in the pinned comment and sub to him too so we can build an army of silverfish haters to fight back against their tyranny. The silverfish boots require level 32 and 30 agility to wear and give plus 10 health, plus 8 air defense, plus 2 earth defense, plus 13 agility, and between plus 39 and plus 169 poison. The Silverfish Helm requires level 34 and 35 agility to wear and gives plus 15 health, plus 12 air defense, plus 6 earth defense, between plus 44 and plus 189 poison, and between plus 3% and plus 13% walk speed. If both pieces of the set are worn, a set bonus of plus 10 agility, plus 290 poison, plus 20% thorns, and plus 20% walk speed is applied. This set has a very clear playstyle in mind. Lots of agility and some walk speed to avoid getting hit and a lot of poison to kill enemies. The set gives basically no health, so you end up relying on the dodge chance from your agility to keep you alive, but if you get hit by a melee attack, your thorns can dish that damage back to your attacker. The set gives a lot of agility, and the boots in particular give more than any other armor piece until level 44, at which point another pair of boots becomes the best. I personally think this set is balanced really well. With the moderate agility requirement, you kind of have to build around using the set, but you are rewarded with a hefty boost to your agility. The poison is quite potent when you add it all up, especially since this is only a two-piece set, so you can easily add more with other equipment. The lack of health is a bit painful, but it makes perfect sense when you consider that the point is not to be getting hit at all. If you're running an agility-focused build, this set is pretty solid. Not overpowered, but also not weak in the slightest. 